how's it going everybody big mike here uh, we're here in the garage a lot of people on social media keep talking about the do it molds the do it essential molds they're anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars depending on what you order and a lot of people are talking about how especially with the cinco mold you get a dull kind of grainy product uh, these are what people are calling sand cast they're not CNC aluminum and they they do uh, the, the baits do not come out shiny but what a lot of people have done as a trick and I even did it myself you get a high temp paint and you spray paint the mold let it dry I did three different coats let it dry for 48 hours before I ever used it when I shot this then the baits did come out kind of uh, I don't want to use slimy but you know real glossy uh, before that I took a regular 240 grit sponge sanding pad and just kind of went over the surface that way there wasn't any overspray hopefully it would sit nice and tight and flush so I hope that explains what everybody keeps talking about spray painting a mold to make it look shiny to make a mold to make a a bait come out glossy here's a CNC mold of a three inch Cinco Ned uh, because it's CNC it does produce a different look when you inject this I'm going to be injecting set here shortly because I also want to talk about, I ordered the Do It Dual Injection System. Now a lot of guys are going to say, oh, buy Bass Tackle, they're the best. Well, the difference with the Bass Tackle than everybody else, pretty much, is the tips. These tips just push on, pull out. There's no set screws, no keepers. So you have to be aware of when you reach the end of the injector. What I've done with mine is I've taken a Sharpie and I've just made a mark. So I know when I'm getting to be a half inch, quarter inch, I'm at the end. The plunger's at the tip. You keep going, you're gonna push you're gonna push this end out. It will make a mess. And it's hot. So other than that. The dual injector is $149.99, $150. Uh, out of the package, I just got the package yesterday, cut it open, pulled it out. It's nice and smooth. You can actually hear it sucking in the air, pushing the air out. The blending block is machined aluminum. Um, lost track, sorry. This is the first time I've had it apart, so. I'm going to be melting some plastic here. I'm going to actually do some remelt, some remelts. I got green pumpkin with black flake, and I got two different shades of June bug. I'm going to mix them, I'm going to heat them up, and I'm going to shoot the Cinco mold, unpainted. And I'm going to shoot the trick warm mold painted. And hopefully that will be able to give a good definition on the difference. That everybody keeps talking about on social media. I, my, you know, my, my baits that have a dull look. Or my baits, how do I make them shiny? And, you know, people say, well, paint, paint the mold and it'll come out shiny. It does make a difference. I don't know how. I'm not a chemist. I don't know a scientist. I tried it. It worked. If I went into painting this knowing that if i screwed up my mold i'm out 35 bucks i'll buy another one i'll turn around i could probably sell this one on facebook 20 bucks somebody would buy it so i wasn't really hesitant on doing it the paint it was like six bucks walmart high temp black enamel 
So I'm gonna kill the camera right now. I'm gonna get set up and then I'll turn the camera back on. When I shoot these two molds, it'll be the first time with the new injectors from Do It Mold. Each one is a four ounce. You can take them apart. It comes with a little uh, Allen key to undo the crossbar. And I would assume you just pull this wing nut out, pull the clamps off, and then you got two single injectors. <laughs> All right, so I got my big fan running. And being a new injector, I'm gonna throw some oil in it. It should have some in it from the manufacturer. And I always put a dab on the O-rings. Just to make it e easier clean up. Some people use spray. Sorry about the arm in the way. I've all, I just use regular plastic lube. I bought from uh, MF com Company. Use regular plastic lube. Um, also, I don't use a vacuum system. I have a lot of guys read comments, post that they stir it, throw it in the microwave for another 15, 20 seconds, pull it out, let it sit, and then do the injection. That way it gives time for the bubbles to, to settle down. So I've stirred these. They're pretty hot. I'm at 295 and 300, so I'm going to give another 15 seconds. So I just stick them into the glass jar side by side, do a full draw, put it in the block, C block. Nice steady push, hold for a few seconds. Go to the other mold. If you've done injection, you know what the resistance feels like when you fill the mold. Ah, a leaker. Making a little mess. That's alright. And then just put a little on top. Some guys use a, a sprule extender. I haven't. Push the extra back in the jar, and here's where, if you're not careful, you'll push your tips out. That's why a lot, a lot of guys like the bass tackle, because it has that, that lock, that set screw, that locking screw. I made a mess. First time out of the box. First time doing the dual injection. I've made split laminates before. I just would hand pour one side, close it up do a real hot injection for the other side and they would melt together and bond. I'll open this blending block out. Comes out nice and clean and that's the good thing about having the CNC aluminum. I mean everything comes out quick and easy. So we'll pop these molds real quick, see what we get. Sorry. First we'll do the Cinco mold. That is the unpainted mold. And there they are. Green on one side. And a June bug type. Pretty much black with some blue flake and a little bit of red in there. On the other side. Not too bad. This color combination 
I've just uh, thought of it. So now for the painted mold. And I don't know how well it's going to show up. But these are somewhat glossy. Not as much as coming out of a full CNC. But hopefully you can tell the difference. Try to get the green side up. Painted, non-painted. But I'm happy with it. Like I said, I'm not trying to raise a family, not trying to make money on this stuff. This is just a hobby for me. Keep me uh, busy out of the house. So I hope this helps. Uh, I welcome any comments, any questions. I'm not. A total newbie to this game but by far means I'm not an expert so if you have any questions maybe I can help if not maybe somebody else will comment and give you the right answer hope this helps uh, I'm very happy so far with the do it do injectors like I said they're 150 it was free shipping I bought them at lure parts online uh, most everybody sells them same price they just had free shipping so uh, that's about it I appreciate y'all watching hit like if you like if you like to uh, I have a few other videos out there uh, feel free to check them out you have a good day we'll see you next time